Hello Las Vegas Raiders fans. Today we have news that has shaken the fans. Our former star player, Josh Jacobs, has decided to leave Las Vegas and join the Green Bay Packers. In this video, we're going to dive into all the details of this surprising decision. So stay with us until the end to understand why Jacobs made this controversial decision and what it means for the future of the Raiders. For many, the departure of Josh Jacobs has been a hard blow. A first-round draft pick in 2019, Jacobs quickly became a cornerstone of our team, displaying undeniable talent and a competitive spirit that made him a fan favorite. However, the news of his trade to the Packers has left many wondering, why did he leave? What did Green Bay offer that the Raiders couldn't match? Josh Jacobs has revealed that his transition to the Packers has been very easy thanks to the structure and stability he found in his new team, something he said was missing in Las Vegas. Despite his initial desire to return to the Raiders, the Packers' offer of $12 million per season for the next four years, although only the first year is guaranteed, was a deciding factor. He wanted to come back. But when we were negotiating and they made their decision, that made my decision pretty easy, Jacobs confessed. Stability was one of the main reasons for his move. During his five years in Las Vegas, Jacobs had to adjust to four different head coaches. He started under John Gruden, but after Gruden resigned in 2021 due to an email scandal, Jacobs found himself in a sea of uncertainty. Rich Bisashia took over as interim head coach before Josh McDaniels took over. However, McDaniels failed to turn the team around and was replaced by Antonio Pierce midway through last season. This constant turnover on the coaching staff never allowed Jacobs to feel a true sense of stability. In contrast, Jacobs has found in the Packers an organization with a clear structure and a well-defined game plan. I would say one of the main reasons was just the certainty of what I'm going to get, Jacobs explained. There's already a lot of structure. There's a lot of things going on already. Having another new head coach there, in Las Vegas, my fourth head coach while I was there, I never felt like there was stability. In Green Bay, Jacobs knows they're not trying to pick up the pieces, we're trying to build it up and see what works for us. We know what works, we're basically trying to execute the game plan. Jacobs' career with the Raiders began with high expectations and bright moments. He was a key player in John Gruden's second chapter with the franchise. However, following the email scandal that led to Gruden's resignation, Jacobs had to quickly adapt to new leadership. Rich Basashia, who now reunites with Jacobs in Green Bay as special teams coordinator, assumed the role of interim coach. Then came Josh McDaniels, but his time with the Raiders fell short of expectations, leading to another trade with Antonio Pierce. Jacobs' arrival to the Packers is also fueled by his desire to have a real shot at the playoffs. Jacobs played in just one playoff game with the Raiders, a wild-card matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals in 2021. In that game, Jacobs had a standout performance with 83 rushing yards and 44 receiving yards, although the Raiders fell 26-19. Now, with the Packers, a young and hungry team led by quarterback Jordan Love and head coach Matt LaFleur, Jacobs sees a great opportunity to achieve his goals and leave a legacy in the NFL. The Packers came very close to reaching the NFC Championship game last season after upsetting the Dallas Cowboys in the wild card round on the road. I watched that game about five times, and I'm not exaggerating. They should have won the game, Jacobs recalled. When I got there, I told them that football comes down to three or five plays, and no matter how those three or five plays turn out, that's going to determine the outcome of the game. Jacobs firmly believes he can be the missing piece the Packers need to get over that hump and go even further in the playoffs. For Jacobs, playing in the playoffs is not only a personal goal, but also a way to feel valued and build his legacy in the NFL. Playing a playoff game is something that makes me feel valued, something that serves as a basis for me when talking about legacy and career. I haven't had the opportunity to do it yet, so it's something that definitely seems important to me, he said. Jacobs. With training camp right around the corner, Jacobs' main goal is to acclimate to the Packers' offense as quickly as possible and get this new chapter in his career off to a good start. Thank you for joining us for this exclusive about Josh Jacobs. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications so you don't miss any news about the Las Vegas Raiders. See you in the next video and keep supporting our team. Let's go, Raiders!